30 years ago today, miners at Cottonwood Colliery in Yorkshire walked out in protest at plans to close their pit. What would follow was a year-long national strike that became one of the most bitter industrial disputes in living memory, ending in the miners' defeat. The loss of an entire industry and a way of life is still keenly felt in Britain's coalfields. Andy Davis has been back to one former mining town in South Wales to hear from those involved three decades on. I want to see no more pit closures, no more job losses. Mr Chairman, what we have seen in the past few weeks is not picketing at all. 1984 and a war of attrition engulfs the British coal industry. This was a year-long resistance by the bulk of the miners and their families. He's a man, a big man, leave him walk out. And it was a defining deeply scarring moment in the history of British industrial relations. In 1948, there were 100,000 miners working across the valleys of the South Wales coalfield. By 1984, that number had dwindled to just 20,000, which is why for so many of the communities here who'd witnessed this relentless tide of pit closures, the strike of 84 meant one thing, a last stand. And witnessing it close up was Roger Tiley, then a young press photographer whose subjects emerged from the pits to take on the state. He documented the violence, the hatred towards the strike breakers, the poverty of those who went for months unpaid, as well as the deep social alliances which saw the South Wales miners lead the strongest strike of them all. And now he's back photographing them again. It's been 30 years since I took a picture of you. You haven't changed one bit. What was it like, that whole period? I can sum it up in very few words. The best year of my life. Langwoon is very important to this section of the coal industry. And we this was Alan speaking to Channel 4 News 30 years ago. Minor, union official, and now one of the faces of a project Roger Tiley is undertaking for the National Library of Wales. Do you think the strike achieved anything long-lasting for this community? Respect. They talk about the strike. Some people say you were foolish. I think they, it did give respect to the area, that you were willing to fight for what you thought was right. And where, where was the picket line for this colliery? At the end of the tunnel that we just walked through. For the thousand or so men like Alan, who at the time mined and then picketed this stretch of the Ebu Valley, Strike headquarters were in Newbridge at the local memorial hall, the memo. United in the struggle, united in the past, and it's here we go, here we go for the women of the working class. <laughs> this is Dot, matriarch of what became a formidable local women's support group. So Dot, that's the, that's the corned beef pasty that, that you produced en masse? That was a typical meal. Chips, peas and corned beef pasty. Yeah. But and Dot, you was a great leader for us, mind I got oh, to say yeah. it to you. Don't know, my head's big enough. No, you was brilliant. <laughs> she was fantastic. Together they worked shifts. Miners' wives like Angela and Donna, feeding those on strike, raising money, joining protests. Oh, that's Donna. Was it hard? Was it a hard year? Yes, but it was a good year as well. And I mean, I hadn't long had my baby when that strike started, my second child. Um, he was three weeks old. Um, but still, we still went knocking doors in all weathers with yeah. Jackie, didn't I? That's you, Donna. Knocking on doors, seeking donations of food, clothes, welfare without the state. What did it achieve? Satisfaction for us. Well, despite the results, I think that we did a good job as women, and I think we had reason to be proud of ourselves, and the whole thing gave us a lot more confidence in ourselves. You are women, you are strong. You Ultimately, are though, this was a story across the British coalfields of a long, exhausting, and often toxic retreat. The nation's minds. And in Newbridge, Within just months of the strike ending, both of the town's collieries were closed down. Fantastic. Thank you.
Going back is an incredible experience. And the nice thing about the project now, I can speak to them, I can get to know them. I think they won, to be honest, because they, they showed pride. They um, held their heads up high. So I think, you know, I was privileged to witness that. Others see it as a strike as pointless as it was protracted. However it's viewed, 30 years on from that tumultuous last stand, this remains a land stripped of the industry which once shaped it and still dealing with the legacy of that loss. Here we go, here we go, for the women of the working class.